It is Bobby coming at you with another Kitchen Basics. Since Thanksgiving is like next week and the winter months in general call for like oven roasted vegetables, I wanted to show you two techniques for making the best ever Brussels sprouts. So first up, we're gonna do the pan technique, right? We're gonna slice some Brussels sprouts in half, put them in a really hot cast iron pan with copious amounts of ghee or butter or oil, and they're gonna get crusty and golden on both sides. It's gonna be crazy. Then I'm gonna show you the technique for oven roasted Brussels sprouts that are absolutely delicious and crazy easy to make. So first up, what you gotta do, hook me up, maybe subscribe to my channel every week. We're rocking out new videos and I would love for you to join the Flav City community. All right, I thought to myself at Trader Joe's, should I show you guys like the Brussels sprouts that like are in the package or have you seen the Brussels sprout stock at the store? This thing is like awesome. How can you not buy this? It's so darn cool. Plus there is a little advantage to getting it because check it out. The sprouts are still at attached to the stock here. They're being fed nutrients. So they're staying fresh. They're staying tight and vibrant. Um, if you think for some reason you don't like Brussels sprouts, that's because your mama boiled them for hours on the stove or steamed them for hours and the house smelled like a wet fart because all that sulfur comes out of them. This is the opposite. I will make you a believer in Brussels sprouts again. But the first thing you have to do is cut it off of the stalk. So if you check out what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna pop it off, right? I call these Ned Starking, the <laughs> Brussels sprouts, because we're just taking the heads off. Now, once I get a few off, I'm gonna show you a really important thing when it comes to snipping the ends of the sprouts so they don't fall apart. So, see how this kind of has a little bit of a butt left to it? I wanna slice it a little bit, but not too much. If I take too much, then the leaves are gonna start to fall apart. Same thing when you buy them in the bag. They come, they usually have a bigger end attached. Just very finely slice it and then cut it in half. So I'm gonna do that with a few more here and then toss it into my bowl and back yonder, check it out, Art. On the stove back here, I'm preheating my cast iron pan over medium-ish heat right now. You can do it with nonstick too, but I always say, it was good enough for grandma, it's good enough for me. So this method will give us the most crispy, golden, nutty, beautiful sprouts ever. So I have about eight ounces in this bowl. Let's go back yonder here, grab my cast iron, pop this bad boy over medium high heat. Now we have a couple options for fat, okay? We can use avocado oil, we can use grapeseed oil or ghee. Okay, this stuff, I wish you could smell that. Can you smell that, Art? Right, Art can smell this, but this organic grass-fed ghee smells like movie theater butter. But it's nothing like that because it's actually real. It's not like man-made trans fat or whatever. So I'm gonna be generous here and scoop in a good tablespoon plus two teaspoons. So maybe almost two, two tablespoons. Very important to let the butter heat up. Right? If the pan isn't hot and the butter's not hot, then the sprouts won't start to caramelize. Because basically what we're doing here is we're treating these little sprouts like a steak. We're gonna sear the heck out of them, make them super caramelized and crispy on here, but inside it'll be soft and creamy. It's the biggest contrast of textures and flavors you could ever do. Now, Art, can you see this? My pan is smoking a little bit here. So that's exactly what I want. There's a little wisps of smoke coming off there. So what I'm gonna do is take my Brussels. That's what I want. I'm gonna put them in the pan, cut side down. I'm not even seasoning them yet, right? Brussels sprouts have a lot of water. So they do tend to spray a little bit, but a splatter guard will help you out. So it's a crazy technique that I actually saw um, in a few restaurants I went to. I was like, wait, there's a chef in the kitchen cooking it like this and he was using tweezers to flip the uh, Brussels sprouts, which is very chefy, right? I don't have tweezers in this kitchen, actually except when we're plating dishes for Instagram or the thumbnail. But when I got served the Brussels and they had this crispy texture and exterior, I was in love. So I started making them at home like this and I think for Thanksgiving, 
or for any like weak nut you wanna make special, this is the way to go. So I'm gonna put these in here. We're gonna let them go for about five minutes over medium to medium high heat, and then we'll come back. All right, splatter guard off. Let's try to flip one of these and see how it looks. Oh, come on, look at that. Was I not lying, you guys? I mean, that is what we want. I think that is the definition of golden brown delicious. So like I said, I treated it just like a steak. I let it go over medium high heat, and Art might get splattered a little bit with ghee, but it's worth the pain. <laughs> and you don't touch it, and just like a steak, the sear forms. So I'm gonna flip these guys, and we gotta dust over some salt, because remember, they're not seasoned yet. And then we'll let them go another four minutes on the butt side. Uh, in the meantime, you guys, let me know down below in the comments what other Bobby's basics you wanna see in the near future. I've really liked this series with the chicken breasts and the meatballs and Brussels sprouts, but leave some suggestions down below. I wanna hook you up. Speaking of salt, let's just dust over a little bit of kosher, and then a few cracks of black pepper. All right, three, four more minutes max. Don't touch them once again, and then we'll evacuate. All right, let's check the other side of these sprouts. How's that look, Art? Tasty. Right, that's what we want. We want caramelization, we want color on both sides. That way we hit them from all different angles, they don't even see what's coming. All right, so that was good. Let's kill the heat, take a bowl here, and just carefully spill them out. The smell is intoxicating, I'm telling you. No more smell of sulfur. This smells like this smells like a movie theater with the ghee and the kind of that nutty, roasty flavor of the Brussels sprouts. We'll take a little bit of parsley. And then if you're so inclined just a touch more of salt, there it is, you guys. The crispiest pan roasted Brussels sprouts ever. Perfect for a weeknight, perfect for the holidays. But if you have a big crowd, you probably don't want to do this technique because, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, do you want to have like, five pans going at one time and be flipping these like a blackjack dealer. No, you're gonna wanna use my oven method. So I said, you wanna preheat it 450 degrees because we're gonna hit them fast and furious. And this is how you make that recipe. Take one pound of Brussels sprouts, snip off the ends, then cut them in half. Toss them in a bowl and season them with a couple tablespoons of oil, avocado or grapeseed or olive work, just under a teaspoon of kosher salt and a few cracks of black pepper. Give them a good shake up and then grab a sheet tray from the oven that's been preheating and then spill the Brussels sprouts out onto the sheet tray. That way they start cooking immediately and that'll get them nice and roasty and toasty. Pop them in the oven for about 30 minutes and then take them out and that's what I'm talking about, you guys. See, golden brown, crispy and charred in spots, absolutely perfect. Then toss them into a clean bowl and to finish off the dish, shake over some chopped and toasted walnuts and some unsweetened dried cranberries and a little bit of lemon zest to wake up the flavor. And then you have an ultimate side dish for Thanksgiving. This is also part of my skirt steak meal prep that has Brussels sprouts, steak, and roasted sweet potato fries. I'll leave that link down below. And if you wanna use roasted Brussels sprouts for an epic Thanksgiving side dish, check out the recipe with roasted sprouts and squash tossed in a hot bacon dressing. It is so good and perfect for the holidays. So there it is, you guys. You have two methods for Brussels sprout mastery, but either way, I mean, come on. This is like literally a game changer for Brussels sprouts. Crispy and nutty on the outside, creamy and delicious on the inside. I'm gonna give you one more second to get that shot. Now, I gotta go back here, get a fork because I've never been more excited to have a Brussels sprout before. It's so good. Perfectly season, creamy on the inside, and that blister charred skin on the outside is everything. So you guys, you can make these for Thanksgiving. This whole week we've been doing oven roasted turkey breasts for two. We did uh, the perfect mashed potatoes, the perfect keto mashed cauliflower. We have cranberry sauce. We have a whole roasted turkey. We have skillet cornbread. We're gonna hook you up. All those recipes are down below. If you wanna see two more of these, check the videos below me right now share this video, right? Subscribe to my channel, but I will see you next week. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, peace.